Today the menu is for a spicy dish that isn't a quick recipe, but it's so tasty and zesty. Just watch this episode. Hi, this is Connie, with a tasty meal that can be as zesty or mild as you want, but so flavorful. And hi, this is Vince. Welcome to a quick recipe. To start, let's review the basic ingredients you'll need. 1 pound hot Italian sausage. A half cup of extra virgin olive oil. Kosher salt. Coarse black pepper. 2 medium-sized red onions. 1 large red bell pepper. 3 to 4 cloves of fresh garlic. 1 tablespoon smoked paprika. 1 cup of long grain white rice. A half cup of dry white wine. 2 cups chicken stock or broth. Some crushed red pepper flake, if you really like it zesty. 6 green onions. And 2 medium tomatoes. You can review them again later in the show more section below. Vince is going to prep the vegetables for me. First we're going to cut our onions. And we're slicing them rather than dicing them. That will help them hold up to the high temp we'll be using. Red onions hold up to the heat a lot better, and we're going to be using high temp when cooking the sausage. Also red onions are sweeter and more flavorful when cooked than other varieties, and add a lot visually to a recipe. We'll put the onions aside and prep the red bell pepper. After removing the stem and deveining it, cut the pepper into strips and into 1 inch pieces. The tomatoes are just going to get a very coarse chop. And the same goes for the green onions. They're going to get a coarse chop, including the green part. But make sure that the green end is not wilted or floppy. That's a sign that they are not fresh. Take a moment to subscribe to our quick recipe channel and give us a like. It makes it possible to create more episodes for you. And then put them to the side with the other ingredients. We're slicing the fresh garlic rather than chopping or dicing it. That makes it easier to caramelize in the hot oil without burning it, and helps to sweeten the finished recipe. First bring a large saucepan to medium heat and add extra virgin olive oil to cover the bottom of the pan. Once the oil is up to temp, add the red onions. Lightly season the onions with kosher salt and coarse black pepper. Continually stir the onions to bring them evenly to a light caramelization, making sure that they don't burn. Overcooking or burning the onions will cause the dish to have a bitterness to it. Add the peppers to the caramelized onions. Periodically stir the peppers into the onions until the peppers become tender. Once they reach tenderness, add the sliced garlic. Make sure that the garlic is cooked until tender, but never let it burn. Burnt garlic is another ingredient that will bitter the recipes. So that we can lightly sear the sausage meat, clear the center of the pan from the vegetables. To sear it properly, we have to raise the heat. Instead of buying sausage links, we've used bulk hot Italian sausage. Getting it in bulk form makes prepping a lot easier. Also you can substitute Italian sausage for another type. Continually turn the meat so that it reaches a slightly brown color.
And once it reaches browning, stir the meat into the vegetables. Now add the smoked paprika and thoroughly mix it in. Smoked paprika works better with hearty dishes like this than sweet paprika. It's because the paprika chilies are dried over an oak fire, which gives it that richer flavor. To cook the rice to perfection, we're adding it now. What we're doing is toasting the rice until it browns slightly, which gives the rice a richer nutty taste. And when we do add the liquid to the recipe, the rice is already hot, and will cook more quickly. We're using conventional long grain white rice, but if you use instant rice, you can follow the same browning method. We're adding a little more heat seasoning to the recipe by adding some crushed red pepper flakes. Our gang likes things a little bit spicier. This step is totally up to your individual taste. A half cup of dry white wine is added to deglaze the pan. The wine not only adds flavor to the dish, but also acts as an agent to help remove the delicious bits that are stuck to the pan, which adds so much flavor to the recipe. After mixing the wine thoroughly, be sure to scrape every bit of the flavors that are on the bottom of the pan. Now add 2 cups of unsalted chicken stock or broth. And let the liquid reduce. You may question why we use chicken stock instead of beef stock in a dish that doesn't have chicken. That's because chicken stock has twice as much protein than boxed beef stock, and consequently much more flavor. During this cooking time, the liquid is reduced and the rice is absorbing the liquid. Now we're adding the green onions and the chopped tomatoes. The tomatoes add more juices to the dish, so more time is needed to reduce the liquid. That smell is making my taste buds come to life. Keep stirring while it simmers, as the rice cooks and absorbs the liquids. Again it depends on the type of rice used, whether instant or conventional, but it's important that the rice cooks at a simmer, allowing it to cook thoroughly before all of the liquid evaporates. Now it's time to plate it up. Look at all that deliciousness. Bon Appetit! Here are a few more tips and recipes that you may find interesting. Also, check out our website, aquickrecipe.com, for more interesting cooking ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time on our YouTube channel, A Quick Recipe.